So, how honest are you, really? Uh, what do you say when you're asked, does my bum look big in this? Or if you were daydreaming about an ex, would you tell your partner the truth? Well, one man in Wales not only decided to answer this question honestly, but he embarked on an entire year without lying. Cahal Morrow's 12 months are up in two weeks' time, and he joins us now on the line. Good morning, Cahal. Uh, good morning. How are you doing? Uh, first question, why? Two reasons. Why? Reasons why. Um, firstly, we uncovered a, a very big family lie, which kind of shook our world. But on a more fundamental level, I'm a father of two small boys. Um, I'm 43 years old. I didn't really know what truth was. I believe very strongly that the truths uh, that we have come from our parents. So if their father doesn't know what truth is, how, how can he teach their kids? So I want to teach my kids a, a, a good truth, really. Well, now, look, I, no decent right-minding person can think that lying is, is good. I mean, all of the major religions and um, you know, most of the great philosophers tell us that, that lying is, is morally wrong. Yeah, but yeah. what is a lie and what is a half-truth or a spin that you tell to protect somebody you love? Where's the difference? Yeah, good question. I mean, a lie is, is a one-dimensional concept. Ask me if I smoke. Yes, I smoke a lot. If I say I don't smoke at all, that's obviously a lie. The truth is a completely different concept. You know, is, you know am I a good father? Um, it's so hard to define. And a lot of truths are very, very difficult to define. We don't really know what the definitions are, so we make it up. And I think politicians uh, use that uh, as a way to spin truth. So what, what, you know, it's not just about me going around telling fat people to go on a diet or whatever. It's about me searching for truth, and it's about me analyzing the truths that I hold. And it, a lot over this year, um, the, my notions of truth have changed, and therefore uh, the things that I say have changed. Now, how did, uh, how did your, your, your family, your immediate family, your wife and your children um, um, take this? I mean, for example, were you asked the classic, does my bum look big in this question, and how did you answer? Yeah, I was asked, and uh, I, I said uh, that, uh, yes, your, your bum does uh, look a bit big, um, but I love your bum. And it's true, you know, my, my wife hasn't got a petite bottom, um, but, uh, but I, I love her figure, you know. So I'm not going to lie to her, but um, I'm going to tell her the truth. And, and what I'm trying to do throughout the year is to tell the complete truth. And it's, it's easy to say, yes, you've got a big bum, um, but it's, it's much better to communicate your feelings about things uh, and can give the whole truth. Now, she's, um, she's on record as saying that, that um, your affair with honesty for the year has been, to, to quote her, a pain in the backside. So did it lead to problems? <laughs> did you spend any time in the spare room? Uh, yeah, but uh, I've, I've spent time in the spare room previous to me uh, being truthful for a year. So, I mean, you know, there's things, the things like a class question is, you know, we're sitting on the sofa watching telly or something, and she'll say, what are you thinking about? And normally, or previously, I'd have said, oh, I'm just thinking about what a wonderful person you are, whilst the truth would be, I'd be thinking about an old girlfriend or something like that, and now I have to tell the truth. So, it can be a little brutal at times, but, you know, what it does help us to do it in, a, in a very fundamental way is to communicate with each other much better. I do think about old girlfriends, uh, but not in a way that's going to conflict with my feelings for my wife at all. Well, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a fascinating concept and an interesting exercise, which we can read about in greater detail when you publish your book. We wish you all the very best with it. That's Cahal Morrow there. Thank you very much, Cahal. It, it is an interesting thought, isn't it, folks? Just think about this. Think about living your life for an entire year telling the truth, no matter what the cost, no matter what the price. You're asked a question, you answer it honestly. Could, could be taken as a license to be really rude and hurtful, or maybe the world would be a better place if we all did that. I'm not so sure, though. Anyway, <laughs> there's people around the studio going, no, no. If you have any thoughts on it, 53121.